everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Mars Attack figure, Smashing the Enemy by Super 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging, then I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on him. Just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and check out my horror and sci-fi playlist, and hit that like, share, and subscribe. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So, without any further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so here he is in packaging. First off, you got your age restriction here, the Super 7 logo there. Now the neat thing about this particular figure is you have your window here, but if you look, you can see all these jagged edges around it. They're trying to go for like a broken glass um, effect. Here, let's spin it around this way, you can probably see it a little bit better. So I really like that. I think that is, you know, a nice touch. You have the Mars Attack logo here. You got your Martian here, and this is Smashing the Enemy. That's what this figure is called. Now, once again, uh, like I said with the other um, Martian, this is all based off of the original card series, not the Tim Burton movie. So, you know, it's totally different from that and what have you. So, over here, you get a little bit more art. Wrap it around this way. You get some more cool card art. You got the Tops logo here. You have what card he is based off of, which is number 50. So it shows the front of the card. And it shows the back of the card where you get a little bit of information of what's happening in the card. Now, the neat thing that I always liked about this card series was that it was very vicious, dark, and violent. Like, it's not like the, old, the Tim Burton movie. The Tim Burton movie was a little bit goofy, silly, and fun. Where the card series wasn't that at all. It, it was... It was dark and twisted. That's why I liked it as a kid. So, you know, you can see in this art here, it's very vicious, violent. You know, it has to collect them all here. So I don't know if they're going to continue do more of these figures or whether they're stopping it here. I know somebody else also got licensing to do these figures as well. I have those on pre-order. So when those come in, I'll definitely be reviewing that as well. Spin them around this way. You got your art here. But this is continuation art from the front, so you can see that it's wraparound art, which is really nice. Your top is the Ultimates, and underneath you got your Legal. So with all that being said, let's open them up and see what he's about. So here he is, out of packaging. He's a really cool looking figure. I like the overall detail to him. So first off, let's give him the rotation. You got this side here. You got that side, and then this side. All right, and now that we uh, did the rotation, let's get a close look at him. So first off, I love the detailing to him. This is really cool head sculpt. So you got the blacked out eye socket here. You got all the brain matter visible, some broken teeth. Now, like I said when I did the in-package um, look at him, these cards are meant to be violent. They're very vicious, very violent. So this kind of detail really works well with that. So you can see there's even some blood droplets here. There looks to be like a bullet hole or something in the side of them. His hosing is broke on this side. And if you lift up the arm a little bit, you can see some dark discolorations and what have you. So they definitely put a lot of thought into this figure. You know, you got some nice detailing here on the boots gloves and what have you so he's definitely very well detailed i like his overall look so next we're going to start looking at his points of articulation so the head does move pretty easily all right you got a shoulder joint here with a rotation an elbow joint and you got a wrist joint now he doesn't have any kind of torsal joints or anything like that all right his legs not as loose as the other figure, but they are a little bit on the loose side. Okay. So now we have a thigh joint, a knee joint. Okay. You have a swivel. And you also have an ankle joint. All right. So there we go. So overall, as an overall looking figure, I like the look to him. I think he's a cool looking figure. So 
now that we looked at the figure, let's start looking at his accessories. So first off, he comes with broken glass for his head dome. All right. He also comes with a rifle, a knife, he also comes with a mutilated hand, an eyeball, All right. He comes with a couple of hands, so he comes with two open hands, so that you got one here and two. Okay. He comes with two open hands, so you got one and two. And then he has two trigger hands, so you have one and two. Okay, so now let's see how well all this works with him. So first off, let's start swapping hands around. Pop that off. Put the mutilated hand in here. Pop this one off. And we'll just put one of the open hands in. So you see, those work pretty well. All right, Hot hand swap out very easily. I don't have any issues with that. So uh, next we're going to put in a trigger hand. And we're going to put in the holding hand. All right. So those went in very well. I don't have any issues with that. Let's try this knife in this hand. All right. Nice fits in there pretty well. I don't have any issues with the knife. All right. Uh, I don't think the eye can really fit in the socket. Eh, you can get it in there. So if you want that eye in the socket, you can. Looks like it's kind of bulging out. All right, and it actually sits in there pretty easily, pretty well. Doesn't really pop out that easily. So if you want that in there, it is doable. Right, there it goes, pop that out of there. All right, so next let's do the rifle. Now rifle is meant to be held by two hands. Which I'm sure won't be an issue. It wasn't an issue with the other figures. So I don't see it being an issue with this one as well. Yeah, there we go. So the rifle fits nicely in the hand. No issue. And then last but not least is the dome. Dome fits on well. Obviously the shattered part would be on this side. Because that's where his head been cracked open. In fact, you can even just take the eyeball and just have the eyeball kind of like drifting around in the glass or some goofy stuff so that's pretty cool so overall i think all this stuff fit very well with him so my final thoughts on him is i do think he's a really good looking figure i like the overall detail on him i do feel like all his weapons swap out very easily with him the same with his hands they swap very well everything you know works really well with him uh, he's very well detailed. I love the detail that they did to this figure. Up to the busted head, to the bullet shot. You know, he has a mutilated hand. So they definitely put some thought into this figure. All the joints move very well. Uh, he is a little loose up here. Not as bad as the other figure. So, you know, I'm not going to put that as a strike against him. But at the end of the day, I do like him. I think he'd be a great piece for your collection. Whether you're just a big sci-fi person, horror person, uh, if you like the original car series, or even if you were a Tim Burton fan, you know, the Tim Burton movie, he would still look good with those. So, he's definitely a figure I would recommend. So, with that being said, I hope you guys did like this review. If you did, go ahead and check out my horror and sci-fi playlist, and also check out my review on the other Mars Attack figure. The invasion begins, so check that video out as well, and hit that like, share, and subscribe. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So, to the next one, late.